Hello, everybody. Happy to see you again. Another edition of Art to Heart Talk. Today, I'm uh, going to share with you something that uh, you must have heard many, many times before. <clears throat> it's not like we have to come up with something brand new. I mean, everything has, <laughs> there's nothing new under the sun, the Bible says. So, um, so, um, but, but um, we have a Bible. And uh, according to my understanding, uh, it's a lot of uh, important things there for us to, uh, to, to help us every day. And uh, I want to talk to you today about your future. Your future is already in, your, in, in you, in your heart, in your mind. And uh, as a subtitle, I, I wrote here, uh, and somebody can mess it up badly, royally. And that somebody is you and me. But of course, other people are also involved in our, our lives. No, none of us are like an island. We are all connected some way or the other. Uh, but uh, you will never outperform uh, the self-portrayal you have of yourself. That's what I'm talking to you about. You will never outperform in the long run. I mean, you can hit the jackpot uh, as a lucky strike, but um, uh, if you look at the at uh, at the long run, it will it will not happen. It's it, you know. You can run extremely fast if you have uh, if you have a lion on, on your heels. If you're chased by a lion, then you run like you, you set a world record. But if the lion is not there, then you, 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 your performance is different. So that also goes with the way you see yourself. So I'm going to, to read from the Bible, from, uh, from um, the book of Numbers. And I know you must be familiar with this story. It's about the spies. Uh, Moses sent um, 10 scouts or spies to review the land before entering. And uh, they went, went into Canaan for, uh, for 40 days. And um, we know, uh, we know um, uh, 10 of them had a negative report. It's very funny. It's very strange. You can be on the same guided trip with, with a lot of, bunch of other people. And people come back with a, with a very different opinion, a very different experience, a, de a very different interpretation of the whole trip. And that's that's how it is. But the way we the way we see things are the way we are ourselves. So ten of the spies they came back to um, to, uh, to to Moses and they had a negative report. But Joshua and Caleb. They came back and they had a, a, a very good report. Ten of them were, were giant conscious. But Joshua and Caleb, they were God conscious. Um, <clears throat> so I, I want us to read in uh, read some scriptures here in the Bible. Because let's get it from, from, from the word. And uh, when we, we start to read... Uh, the, the 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 job description Moses gave to the twelve represented every tribe of Israel, the twelve tribes. Before I continue, I welcome all of you here on the, on the, on this live broadcast, and um, I, I I'm really happy if you can just uh, say hello, write, and say I'm from uh, wherever you come from. That is encouraging, and also. Since I since it's, I'm reminded of that now, please when we when we uh, put this on on YouTube, please subscribe on my new on my YouTube channel. It is it is for free. It doesn't cost anything. You just register and you become a subscri uh, a subscriber of of my channel. And uh, every time when I when I post new things on YouTube, you will be noticed. So thank you so much. Here uh, in in uh, in Numbers thirteen, uh, Moses said to 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 his uh, scouts, he said, "And see the land, what the land is, 
whether the people who dwell in it are, among, are, are strong or weak, whether they are few or many, and whether the land that they dwell in is good or bad, and whether the cities that they dwell in are camps or strongholds, and whether the land is rich or poor, whether there is uh, wood in it or not. Be of good courage and bring some of the fruits of the land. And no, <laughs> Uh, no, the time was the season for uh, season of the first uh, ripe grapes, and um, uh, you have—I I, I bet you have seen the, the pictures of the the two spies coming with with uh, with, with with a very huge uh, bunch of grapes. It, it goes all the way down to the to the to the road. So here they come back from uh, from forty days uh, of. Um, of exploring the, the land. And, and 10 of them gives an, another report. And you know, this is why I, I tell you, some people may mess up your future royally. And, and you can listen to a fool and it doesn't cost you, it, it can, you can lose money, you can lose time, you can lose, um, it, it's a price to pay for listening to, to stupid people. But for for 3.5 million Israelites who listened to the 10 spies, it cost them their lives. They all died in the desert. Only the two remaining spies, Joshua and Caleb, entered into the land because they had a new, different spirit and they had a different report. So who you who you listening who you are listening to the voice you keep hearing is the voice you will believe. And the voice your people keep hearing is the voice they will believe. So the 10 spies, they couldn't, um, they couldn't see beyond the giants. So they, they embraced the grasshopper uh, hopper, uh, mentality and never entered the land God promised them. So, so, so let's just read from, uh, from 13th chapter and verse 27. It says, and, uh, and, um, the ten spies told him, we came to the land to which you sent us. It flows with milk and honey, the land of milk and honey. And this is its fruits. And here comes the torpedo, what is, what is really sinking the ship. It's a three word letter, yet or but. Not with a double T, <laughs> but it's B U T. But yet the people who dwell in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified and very large. And besides, we saw uh, this, the descendants of Anak there, and they, they were giants. They were they were very tall. I've been to South Sudan. I've seen some of the tribes there. The people are, are extremely tall. They are like. Uh, Two meters. It's not. It's not unusual to see them two, two five, and and some are are taller. Um, but then Caleb he skips in here. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> what you listen to. The voice you listen to determines your future. The voice that the congregation listen to determines the congregate the, the future of the church. But Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once. Ah, this is, the, this is, a, this, this is a different spirit. Let us go up. Not, let's not delay. Let's, he was willing to do a, a, a 180. Turn around. He, he, didn't want, he didn't even want to kiss his wife and say, and, 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 and say, let me, we have been on a long trip for 40 days. Let's get some rest. And then someday, you know, someday is not any weekday, but let's someday go and see what we can do. And God will be with us and blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. He's, he said, let's go at once. Let me, let me find it. Let us go up at once and occupy it for we are all well able to overcome it. Then the man who had gone up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we are. Who are you listening to? Listen to me. The audience is Moses, but 
the the extended audience is 3.5 million people and they also had a chance they had a, a choice to make a decision to make whom are we listening to Joshua he, he, he uh, when when we we read in his book he says he says to his people you have to choose today whom you will serve me and my house we will serve and follow the lord and the same this decision the same choice the people had at this very moment so the man said uh, we are not able to go against them for they are stronger than we are so they brought the and listen whom you are listening to will will, will determine your energy your future the way you see everything so the people who listen to uh, the people um um uh, well, excuse me, uh, for they are stronger than we. Verse 32. So they brought to the people of Israel an evil report of the land, which they had spied out, saying, The land uh, through which we have gone to spy, to spy it out, is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people we, that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the sons of Anak, and we seemed to ourselves like grasshoppers, the grasshopper mentality. And so we seemed, we seemed to them. If the, the, the giants of the land told them that, ah, who are you? You are who, who, like, like um, Goliath in his psychological warfare against David. Who is this little dog coming? <laughs> who is this boy? Maybe the, the people in, in, uh, in, in the land of Canaan, the Anax had said, had labeled them as grasshoppers, but I'm not sure. I think this was something that was only in their own mind. They thought of themselves as, a, as grasshoppers when they compared themselves to these giants in the land. And you know, when, 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 when you have that mindset, you think you are nothing, you can do nothing, you begin one day to believe that everybody else looks at you the same way. That is absolutely not necessarily true. Not at all. So, so, so examine your belief system because your belief system, faith comes by hearing. And, and faith for victory, salvation, and heaven, and, it, and, and eternity, and, 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 and forgiveness of sin comes by, the, by, by listening to the preaching of the word of Christ. But also doubt and unbelief comes by listening to some other reports. One of the Bible translations of, of, uh, of um, Josiah 53 says, Who has believed our report? It was about by his stripes we are we are healed and and he is he was um, wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities and 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 and, and so on. So these these terrible uh, spies or or uh, scouts they came with a, with a with a bad report and they said we are we are like grasshoppers and if you go down to the to the 14th chapter here we are reading a lot from the bible today then all the congregation raised a loud cry to the people and the, and the people wept that night are you listening to people that make you cry are you listening to to people who are you listening to the voice you are listening to are determining your future it, the voice you are listening to can determine the future of your children, your family, your business, your health, your finances, everything. Who are you listening to? Oh my goodness. If you could just examine yourself and 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 and, and take a test, a check, checkup, checkup, and, and and find out what you believe, because what you believe comes from what you have heard. And if this is if this is benefiting you then continue but if this is disadvantaging you please change your mind change your mind and you will change your life the only way to change your life on permanent basis is to change your is to, is to change your mind so you you uh, you 
you uh, introduce a new model that makes the old model obsolete, like I said some weeks ago. So they, 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 um, they raised a loud cry, and the people wept all night. And all the people of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation said to them, would, we have, would that we had died in the land of Egypt? Or would that we had died in this wilderness? What they say actually in, in good good English is, uh, or we could have died in Egypt. We, what is the difference, dying in the de this desert or dying in Egypt? So they are complaining. You know, this is also what happened in the Garden of Eden, the third voice. Who are you listening to? Messed up the garden life for Adam and Eve. Messed up, according to some scholars, I don't know, I'm not convinced, but I'm using this as, as an example. It may have another under, uh, interpretation. I don't know. I'm not sure. But let me just, I, let me put it this way. Some, some say that one third of the angels in heaven was derailed by Lucifer by listening to him. And their future was at that moment, set. So who are you listening to? So um, why does the Lord bring us uh, us into this land to fall by the sword? I mean, they, nobody had died yet. They were all alive and well. When you start to believe nonsense and when you start to listen to nonsense, you are some, you see yourself dead already. I mean, it, it's it's kind of crazy what what kind of power words holds on 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 you and me and uh, and um, what changes they can make in our lives because all they are saying here happens to them later this is the spookiest thing about, <laughs> about my sermon my preaching today my sharing today is whatever they said happened some said we can't do it they were right some people said we can do it they were also right. Who is right? They are both right. But it's up to you who, who, whose voice you will listen to and whose voice you will follow. Whose pulpit you bring yourself and your family to sit under every Sunday. It's a vital important. What you talk about around the kitchen table, around the supper table, when, when, when the small ears are listening, your children, it's a very vital importance so let me continue why does the lord bring us here to die and our wives and our little ones will, will become a prey i mean what in heaven's name are they talking about to fall by the sword and and uh, become a prey would it not be better for us to go back to egypt uh, I, i'm 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 flabbergasted and they said to one another, let us choose a captain and go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces and they began to pray for, for, for the people. And, uh, but, but Joshua, um, he had a very different report. It says, uh, it says in, in, uh, in, um, in chapter, um, chapter 14, uh, we, we are there now. Joshua says uh, that... Um, let me just find it. And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb the, uh, were among those who had spied out the land, rent their clothes, and said to all the congregation of the people of Israel, the land which we passed through to spy out is exceedingly good. Wow, this is music. The other report is, is, is poisonous, so bad. What you hear can kill you. So, so they said, <laughs> it's an exceedingly good land. And if the Lord delights in us, and that's why the Lord brought them out of Egypt, because he delighted in, in his people. And if the Lord delights in us, he will bring us into this land and give, give it to us, the, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not fear the, fear the people of the land, for they are all bread for us. 
Aha. So the ten the ten spies they said we are like grasshoppers. And I have been to countries where they eat grasshoppers. I have been offered grasshoppers, grasshoppers, but I've not uh, been tempted yet. Um, but, but here Joshua and Caleb, they said, you know, these people, they are like bread. They are like a slice of bread. We eat it. We chew them. We eat these giants for breakfast. That's a good one, isn't it? Uh, the other spy says, they will eat us like grass, grasshoppers. They will just... They will just squeeze us under their sandal heels. Joshua and Caleb had another spirit. And this is what, um, what God says also. For they are bread for us, and their protection is removed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. But all the congregation said to stone them with stones. So let me just uh, skip here, j j make a jump here. Um, 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 God says in, in, in the 30th verse, he says, no, not one shall come into the land where, where I swore that I would make you dwell, except Caleb, the son of, uh, except, except Caleb and Joshua, the son of Nun. Uh, and, um, and um, verse 36, and the man whom Moses sent to spy out the land, and whom returned and made all the and made all the congregation murmur against him by bringing up an evil report against the land the man who brought up an evil report of the land died by the plague before the lord but Joshua and Caleb they entered into the land and they remained alive by verse 24 but my servant Joshua my servant Caleb because he had he has a different spirit and has followed me fully. I will bring him into the land into which he went, and his descendants shall possess it. You know, those who said we can't take the land, they, 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 it happened. They couldn't take the land. They died. But the sad thing is that as a leader, as leaders, they also was a tool by their report. To uh, to kill 3.5 million people, to um, to hinder them enter, entering into that the land. The future, your future depends on the voice you you listen to. And believe. So somebody can mess up your life, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. I mean, 3.5 million people had a, had a, had a decision to make that day. Who who are we lending our ears to? Do we believe in Joshua and Caleb or do we believe in the other? The negative, the evil report, as God says. So somebody can mess up your life royally, but at the end of the day, don't play the, the, the blame game. Whatever preaching and, and, and the theology and, and, and the image of God, if God was a bad guy, if you are doing something wrong, he is ready to kick you to hell. If that's the food you 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 were offered in your upbringing and in your spiritual upbringing you don't have to live like that anymore you can change that today by by deciding to believe in what god says about you and um, and this is this is like i said this is one of the big differences in people the 10 spies infected the israelites with their unbelief and doubt. And when they talked about the, God, the giants, the people forgot the blessings of God. This is what happens. You can't, you, you can't listen to everybody and succeed. You can't listen. You cannot listen to every preacher and live a victorious life. It's important. You can't live, you can't listen to to uh, to the viewpoints and the understanding of every Tom, Dick, and Harry saying they are preachers and teachers and pastors and priests and whatnot, and 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 live a victorious life. It it's the same with it's impossible to listen to the ten spies and 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 survive. 
So uh, this is not just something I, I, I something cool I want to say to you today. This is this this is at the end of the day is life and death. Whom you listen to can kill you. Whom you listen to can save you. So death and life is within the power of your tongue and what you hear and what you begin to believe. What you talk about increases. And this is what it is, is amplified. It's amplified. And, and, and the, the, report, the, the, the report from the 10 spies were amplified so badly it become like a, a, a death sermon. It was a death sentence to all the listeners, except for Joshua and Caleb, who also listened to them, but tried to try to, 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 to rectify it. And what you think about becomes larger. So if you want if you want to have what you talk about, continue to talk about it because it's going to be amplified. Talk about what you want, not what you don't want. Talk about what you what talk about what you want more of, not what you want less of. If you talk about what you want less of in your life, you will have more of what you don't want. If you talk about what you want, that will be amplified. And we, what you think about will be enlarged, enlarged. So your mind and your mouth are magnifying anything you want to grow. And even it's also magnifying and growing what you don't want to grow in your garden. So the 10 spies came back from Canaan. I mean, the two spies, Joshua and Caleb, came back from Canaan with faith, with victory, and they came back with the ability to overcome the giants. Isn't that marvelous? I'm, I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited. They, they even said, let's, let's just make a 180 turnaround. Let's go straight back and take the land. You know what happened? They are the only one we know by name today. Joshua became the leader after Moses died. Joshua took the people into the land he said he could take. We could stop here. Caleb is, uh, I mean, um, uh, that's Joshua. Caleb is famous for his words. Let me take this mountain. He was, I think he was 82, 84 years old. And he still, ha still had the fire. He still had the energy. Why? Because what you think about influences your energy level. If you think like the like the ten spies, your your energy will will go so negatively that it it will affect your body, your mind, your everything in a, in a very bad way. It's it's not healthy to listen to every report. Be selective when it comes to what you lend your ears to. So they are famous, and um, you must decide in your life, and I have to do it in, with my, in my life, uh, what uh, uh, I have to, I have to uh, discern the Joshua and Caleb's around me. There are Joshua and Caleb's in our time. They have been here all in... Uh, Every, every, uh, all the time they have been, these people have been here in this world, but also the 10 spies have been here. And um, we see them as the Pharisees and the Sadducees in, in the days of Jesus. And uh, then we see Jesus, he has a victory message. I am the light. I am the, 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 the living water. I am the bread of life. Nothing negatively. Only sustaining power of beautiful things God wants to grow in, in your life and in my life. So that there are choices we have to make, like the people of Israel. They had to choose today, that day, whom they whose report they wanted to 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 um, to get give heed to. And you have to do the same when it comes to your church, when it comes to your what you talk about in your family and in your life. You have to find faith food and, and listen to faith talk. Whose voice are you sitting under? Uh, 
that's 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 your decision to make. Nobody, and all, that's why I said only you can mess up your life badly, but you can also change your mind. Change your mind, and you change your life. <laughs> Whom you listen to determines your future. When I say you, it's me, it's everybody. So where you are listening from, please, please um, write and say where you are listening from. Um, something will grow. So what you listen to and what you absor absorb uh, will, will begin to grow in, in your life. You, you must also recognize the greatness around you. What do I mean? When, when, when uh, uh, you must recognize the greatness when you are in the presence of it. That's a better way to say it. It's not like greatness has labeled themselves as we are the, the great voices to listen to. No, no. Even Jesus was not recognized everywhere. He was not noticed everywhere. He was not acknowledged everywhere. He was. Um, he was not. Um, he, he went to places where he was, um, where, where he was uh, un, uh, undetected and where he was undiscerned. And and um, even his um, in in John's chapter seven verse five it says, "For neither neither did his brethren believe in him." So, hello, Sweden. God bless you. Uh, so, the brethren of Jesus didn't recognize him. I mean, who is who? he? He was the greatest. He is the greatest. Judas, Judas and John had the same mentor. Absalom and Solomon had the same father. Absalom was a fool. King Solomon was the wisest man next to Jesus that has ever lived as uh, according to what I understand and know. But um, Absalom, he said no to an inheritance, to a legacy. But um, Judas, he said no to, to a family, to, to, uh, to that group of people. But they did... He didn't listen. He was there, but he didn't listen. So, uh, uh, when when you you yourself have to recognize the greatness when you are in the presence of it, and um, ask God to give you the wisdom. <laughs> Jesus says something about the eye, and he says, if if the eye tempts you, uh, or or offends you, or um, he used different words here, he. Um, he says, um, if your right eye offend you or tempt you, pluck it, uh, pluck it out and cast it from you. Uh, what does he mean? Uh, he, he, he says also that uh, if your eye is sick, then your, your, your entire body will also be sick. What that does, that's not true. If, if you read it like uh, straight up and down, like, like we read it black and white here, it's not. If I have cataracts, I think it's that, or let, let me see, let, let, let me use another word I'm more, more sure of. <laughs> if I am deaf, that doesn't mean I have a, necessarily have a heart problem or a lung problem or a. a, a, a Cancer, I, I I can't hear. But and if my eye, let's say I'm blind, that doesn't mean I have I'm in a wheelchair. But Jesus said, if you if your if your eye is sick, if your eye is evil, then your whole body is in darkness. What does he mean? You know, in English, um, we we uh, when when we talk with with other people and and we we uh, oh yeah I see. <laughs> that doesn't mean you see, but you understand. So here, here uh, we get a better understanding. When when Jesus talks about your eye being sick, 
uh, and if your eye offends you, if your eye, then 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 your life will will your body, your being will be in darkness. What does he mean? He means that if your understanding is is sick, <laughs> and we can we can compare this to the ten spies, they their their eyesight had observed observed the what everybody else what the ten the twelve spies saw the same were on the same journey but they came back with very different reports very different understanding and and the interpretation of what they had seen you know your eyes are not seeing you, your brain is seeing your eyes are just the lenses like i'm sitting here in front of me i have the camera and <laughs> behind the camera is the window so i look out through the window but the window is not seeing my eyes are not seeing it's me on the inside who are looking through through these lenses here and my brain is is interpreting giving me an understanding of what i'm seeing and that can be completely wrong what i am seeing may not be what what is correct I can see something and and uh, my understanding of it can be really really wrong and this is what Jesus says if if the way you see things are are sick are not if you see yourself in the in a way God doesn't see you then your your Christian walk will be very complicated you know, some people say, I believe in God. If you believe in God, you will be saved. If you believe in Jesus and what he did, you will be saved. But I, if you, if the day you understand that God believes in you, that day you, you are transformed. And this is what happened to, to Gideon. Gideon, he, uh, um, the concept he had of himself, his self-portrayal, uh, was not... Um, uh, would have killed him that day. So God needed to change uh, the way Gideon looked uh, uh, at his at himself, and he said, "Go you, you you are a you are a you you are a giant. You are a fighter." And something began to raise on his inside, and he went and he con conquered the big army of the enemy. Why? Because he changed his mind. He changed the way he saw himself. Because the way he used to see himself was the little one, the small one, the, 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 the man, the tribe of least value. So what can we do? We are, we are the fewest. We are the smallest. They don't even count us. It was like David when Samuel came to, to anoint the new king. He was not accounted for by his father, um, father um, Jesse. <laughs> so can you can you believe it? But I tell you, some, David believed in, in in himself, and and we see that when he is conquering Goliath. Goliath was dead even before David picked up picked up the first stone and put it in 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 the slingshot, <laughs> because in David's mind Goliath was like bread, nothing. David ate Goliath for breakfast, like Israel ate, it, ate uh, um, the giants for breakfast. We will eat them like bread. They're, we are not grasshoppers. We don't have the grasshopper mentality. Anyway, so today I was tempted to, to make another headline on, on my sharing here today, uh, how to pluck out, pluck out your eye. What do I mean by that? What did Jesus mean? He said, if your concept is wrong, your entire life, your 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 mind is in darkness. But you can change your mind, and you can change, and you will change your life. And some say what <laughs> most of the things I fear for never take place. I I I disagree to that statement. I, uh, my belief is that mo all, all the things we fear for, we're suffering from. I don't know how that expression is in English, but uh, in, in my language is that what you, what you, um, uh, oh, that, that's another one, forget it. But, but 
if you fear for something, you are already suffering that problem. Even though it's, it's not uh, manifesting in your, in your, before your eyes, in your physical life. But what you fear, fear of is tormenting you, is, is rubbing your, your rest. It's, it's uh, rubbing your joy. It's stealing your peace. It's, it's uh, destroying your, your life. It, it puts you in darkness. If your eye is sick, if the way you see things are sick, uh, then your whole body is in darkness. So change your mind because to believe in the 10 spies was very costly to 3.5 million people. They died. Why? Because they believed the wrong voice, the wrong report. I have to speed up here. Um, focus. What you focus on becomes your life. It became the reality to Joshua and Caleb. What they believed, what they spoke, became their, re their reality, and they entered into the land God promised. And what the ten spies believed and focused on also became their, their reality. They died. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have worked the whole day, come home from job, you have had something to eat and you take a rest. Your head is on the pillow, maybe your TV or some music is in the background, but you, you, you are tired and you sleep. Out of your energy, you have spent your energy, you have invested your energy in, uh, at your workplace. So you need to, to, um, to um, recharge your batteries. Then the phone rings uh -huh, from the hospital, from the, from the ICU. Your son has been hit by a car, is taken to the ICU. And, uh, and uh, what happens? Immediately, your focus has changed. You're not tired anymore. You're up, you're, you, have, you have dressed in a second, and you're in your car on the way to the intensive care unit to, to be with your, with your injured uh, son. Or This is an example. What happened? The focus changed your energy. So, um, <laughs> um, new focus gives you new energy. So, um, your energy is a very much affected by whom you are listening to, whom you believe. If you believe, my, my, my grandson, he came to me yesterday and he said, you know, Grandpa, he said, he said, there has never been so little wars in the world as it is today. I said, where, where do you find that? Because I believe so. I believe. I don't, I'm not among those gloomy, doomy uh, preachers who believe we are, we, are, we are going from bad to worse. I believe this world is getting from is getting better and better. My parents, they are in heaven now, but when they grew up, they could tell in, 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 in their families, among their brothers and sisters, many died in childhood due to diseases that we are not <laughs> facing today. Polio, other, other child diseases, they died, but today we have vaccination. So I believe, like my grandson believe, it's getting better, better and better. This world is Im improving. And from, uh, from the gospel point of view, the faith, the belief in Jesus Christ and his gospel is the fastest growing faith in the world today. And the gospel is expanded by people who are like Joshua and Caleb, who are not sitting waiting for the second coming or the rapture, I don't know, for the end of the world, but they are spreading the gospel because the gospel is, is spreading like wildfire. It's explode. We call it a gospel explosion in the world today. There are more people saved today than people are, are born, natural born babies in the world today. And Muslims are really, are really um, having problems because, um, because, um, so many Muslims are, are, are 
are beginning to believe in Jesus and his gospel. So um, this is good report. So I'm, I'm an optimist. And, and you know, when I talk about this, when I talk about these things, you know what happens to my energy level? It gets a boost. So you decide. Um, Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, Gideon, he got new victory when he changed his mind, the way he saw, the way when he changed, when God helped him to change his self-portrait. Victory was a reality. So who are you listening to? Adam and Eve listened to the wrong voice. Uh, the angels in heaven, a third voice. Is, most of the time, a third voice is there when marriages are breaking up. It's a third voice. It comes with a new vision that brings most many times disaster. So, um, how do you, what do you hear? And how do you interpret what you hear? God bless you. I wanted to share my heart with you uh, today. And um, next week, uh, I'll take some days off. We have been at home the whole summer vacation. So next weekend, I will not do my, my weekly heart-to-heart uh, -heart talk, but we will... Um, publish more on, on, on YouTube. So thank you very much. God bless you. Your future is depending on the voice you listen to and what you begin to believe in. So your future is your future per today is already in you. And you can change it by changing the way you think and the way you talk and the way you and what you listen to. God bless you. Jesus loves you. So do I. Thank you.